A wind power producing pioneer, Denmark draws more than 40% of its energy from turbines with the aim of reaching 50% by 2020. But the harsh offshore environment and heavy rain causes the blades to erode, leading to a significant reduction in efficiency. Researchers in the city of Kolling have been working on an innovative coating system. Look at this. This is uh, an aluminum sample completely destroyed by rain droplets. This has been done by, uh, by our simulated weather conditions here in this test center, where we test materials and uh, processes for new uh, materials going onto wind turbine blades. What we've done recently is we've developed a coating material instead, like this, and this, uh, when tested in, um, in our rain erosion simulator, we've actually uh, provided a five-time improvement. As part of the European project Wind Trust, aimed at reducing the cost of wind energy generation by improving the reliability of the turbine's key components, experts are testing new materials like polyurethane coating to fight the effects of erosion. The newly developed materials and technologies uh, for especially leading erosion uh, can really help uh, making the, the maintenance cost uh, a, a lot lower and, uh, and maintenance cost is an is a essential issue when you talk about wind energy offshore because of um, the inaccessibility of the turbines. The European Wind Energy Association estimates that turbines will provide around 15% of the EU's electricity by 2020, avoiding more than 300 million tonnes in CO2 emissions and saving Europe 28 billion euros per year in fuel costs.